I've got a pit that I use to change the oil in my tractor and cars and all that kind of stuff. And so I needed something to be able to raise the oil up, oil uh, reservoir up higher to catch it in. And so this is what I made. It's just made out of an old wheel and some uh, scrap pipe and a scrap uh, stainless steel bowl. All right, let's get started. All right, so here's the hole we drilled, and this is a 7 16th bolt. And I'm getting ready to weld this nut, so I've just extended it down into the hole to make sure that that hole lines up. And now I'm just going to put a spot on both sides. I've got these magnetic right angles on there trying to get this thing lined up to a 90 degree to that little plate. And so I'm just going to get that welded up. Alright, so I got the post we've been building upside down in my vise, and I got the wheel sitting on top of it. So now down through this hole right here, I'm going to weld them together. And I'm going to call that good enough. Alright, so I'm going to braise this nipple on here. And let's see. I think that's where it's going. I kind of pounded a little place flat. This is just a stainless steel bowl they were actually throwing this away at work so uh, that's how I wound up with it but you could use any steel bowl or you could just use any uh, any kind of metal bowl that you could weld to this and you don't have to have this drain either you could just drain it just pour it all pour it out when you're done but it looks like I want that to be the next to the last one and here we go. Yeah, that should do nicely. All right, so I had to move outside and uh, then burn the, I didn't realize this nipple was galvanized. So I had to bring it out here and burn the zinc off of it. So we're starting over. This one, I couldn't get it to stick around here and the stainless steel, this is where I practice welding. The stainless steel got really brittle and started cracking out from it. So I guess I overheated it. But anyway, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna weld it on there, which is probably what I should have done in the first place. Alright, well it's on there. It's about the ugliest weld I've ever seen, but uh, I'm going to go test it and see if it's watertight. All right, that's got it finished. I can adjust the height with our screw right here. And then over here, I've got a valve so that when I'm finished emptying the oil, I can open this valve and drain right into the container that the oil originally came in and store it away for later. Well, I hope this was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.